Hello, 大家好 Welcome to Mrs. Lin's kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make big version of 年糕年糕 literally translate into year cake. The sound of words also means year high, which implies children's height, rising business success, getting good grades at school, getting promotion at work, and all the good things that go with it. People believe that eating nian gao also will bring you good luck for the upcoming year. Just like Japanese mochi, nian gao is made of glutinous or sticky rice, so it is soft, chewy, sticky, and gluten-free. Traditionally, nian gao is either steamed or fried with some kind of flour batter, and the major ingredients are glutinous rice, short grain rice, and sugar. The baked version, however, is a new twist to this traditional recipe. Ingredients such as、uh, coconut oil, coconut milk, milk, and butter are used. Dried diced fruits, chocolate, and nuts are often、uh, incorporated to achieve new flavor. It is easy to make and tastes quite good. Today, I'm going to show you five different version: piña colada, red bean. Raisin, chocolate, and cocoa flavor. And at the end of the video, I'll also show you how to modify the ingredients to make the flavor of your own. So let's get started. Here is the ingredients overview for the piña colada and raisins version. These two versions of nianga will have a more tropical flavor because of coconut milk and coconut oil. Make sure the coconut oil is completely melted, and the coconut milk is at room temperature. For the red bean, chocolate, and cocoa powder versions, I will combine mochiko glutinous rice and rice flour together to create a firmer texture for the nian gao. If your eggs and milk have been in the refrigerator, make sure they're back to room temp before using. Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's make the pina colada and raisin nian gao. First, dice the dry pineapple into small pieces. I like them small, so I cut them into about quarter inches. If you prefer bigger dry cut fruit, you can make them slightly bigger. In the mixing bowl, add glutinous flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Then mix them well. In a separate bowl, pour in coconut milk and melted coconut oil. Then add the flour mixture into the coconut oil and coconut milk. Stir them well until the mixture all combine and free the lumps. You can use an electric mixer if you have one. Next, grease two pie pans with some coconut oil or canola oil. In one pie pan, pour some of the flour batter and sprinkle with some dry pineapple. Alternate between a layer of flour batter and a layer of dry pineapple until you fill up the pan. This will ensure the dry pineapple spread out evenly inside the nian gao. For the raisin version, repeat the same step as making the pina colada nian gao, but use raisin instead. If you use the ingredients measurement I provided, you should be able to fill up two pie pans without any leftover flour batter. Now let's prepare the batter for the red bean, chocolate, and cocoa powder nian gao. In the mixing bowl, add glutinous rice, rice flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Give them good stirs. In another bowl, beat eggs and milk together before pouring in the flour mixture. Combine them well until there's no lump. Add melted butter into the batter and continue mixing. Grease three pie pans with some butter or canola oil. Pour a layer of flour batter into one pie pan and drop a few chocolate pieces into it. You can adjust the amount of chocolate depending on your liking. Repeat until you fill up the pan to its rim. For the red bean version, alternate between flour batter and red bean paste until the pie pan is filled. With the leftover flour batter. Add three tablespoons of cocoa powder and mix them well. Pour the cocoa mixture into the pie pan, and your nian gao are ready to go into the oven. Bake the nian gao in the oven for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes are up, 
take the pina colada and raisins nian gao out and sprinkle some coconut flakes. Make sure to spread them out evenly. Put the nian gao back into the oven and bake for another 20 minutes. When 20 minutes are up, poke into the cakes with a toothpick and check for doneness. If you see some batter stick onto the toothpick, put the nian gao back into the oven for another 5 to 10 minutes. Check for doneness again. If the toothpick is clear, your nian gaos are ready. If you like to modify the nian gao to your liking, you can use this chart as a guideline. Interchangeable ingredients can be used, as long as the measurement stays the same. I prefer using white sugar in my recipe because using brown and cane sugar will give the nian gao a darker brown color. You can use water instead of milk or coconut milk for a more traditional flavor. Leave out the eggs to make it a vegan version. So here are five different versions of baked nian gao. And uh, they taste much better when are served warm. Nian gao can be stored at room temp for uh, about one week. But uh, they will get firmer and less sticky as time goes on. You can also store them in refrigerator or freezer for an extended period of time. But make sure to zap it in microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds or toast it uh, to get a softer inside and a crispy outside. Chinese New Year is right around the corner, so share a piece of nian gao with your loved one and spread the good luck. I hope you enjoy watching me show you how to make a fake version of Nian Gao today. If you like what I'm showing you today, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the like button down below. Happy Chinese New Year, Gong Hei Fa Tai, Xin Nian Kuai Le, and see you next time.